Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Wrath of the Righteous Warrior the last time. I actually Watch did uh, resist Shamira. I did the uh, checks until I actually succeeded because I wanted to go that route. Um, we got 10,000 experience from it and she was just very upset that we managed to evade her. And now we're going to wander this way. Where most curious mortal. Nocticula will talk to us. You hear... In your head, a female voice, melodious, low, and sensual. You are rather intriguing yourself. <laughs> There's a reason they call me Nocticula, the Lady in Shadow. My words and thoughts are shrouded in darkness. I take it I finally have your attention. Yes, your arrival in Alashanera was quite impressive. Rumors have reached me even here. Behind my locked gates and my wall of valiant guards, rumors of a remarkable Galarian taking my Alishanira by storm. You hear a hint of approval in her voice. I am asking for an audience. You have my permission to enter the palace. Go there and wait. I will arrive when the time is right. Until then, you will be taken care of by one of my servants. Alrighty. Let's go see what we can do. Maybe we can finally get the lexicon of paradox. I think it's that time of day. We're, uh, I don't know, 100,000 experience away from a level, which is fine. I think we'll be pretty close once we, um,. Get the lexicon to Sokobanoth. And then we can do Graybor's quest to get us even closer. And then hopefully we'll be at least on the cusp, if not over the cusp, of level 17. And then we'll be good to go. We can actually uh, go do Le or, uh, Wolgif's quest, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And uh, yeah. And then we'll leave. Because I think we're pretty much done our... The longest walk to a palace ever to exist. There we go. That's not true. There are much longer walks. Like in The Witcher, when we walked around, that was an insane amount of walking. Alright, so here we are in a lovely lava library. The tall shelves are stuffed with countless books and scrolls praising the Lady in Shadow's many deeds. Some tomes are old and threadbare, others are new and in mint condition. There's a knowledge world check times two. It went splendidly. The ink on the page is still wet. The book tells of a murderous massacre committed by the Lady in Shadow among the Colossus demons of the Midnight Isles. It seems it happened quite recently. Damn. Knowledge roll check. A success worthy of praise. The Lady in Shadow's library is called the Vault of Graves. It contains the, bi er, the biography of everyone whose life Nocticula has ever taken, and her victims are innumerable. Well, shit. We're gonna go this way. We're not gonna go approach the throne. We don't want to do that. This is the area we want to be in. First of all, there's a Midnight Bolt, so if you're trying to do the Ascension, you need that. You also are gonna need this unfinished draft of- well, you don't need this, but it's important to have this draft of a letter. And we're gonna grab this other letter in handwriting. But the most important thing, the thing you need vitally, is the Lexicon of Paradox Part 2. There's also a projector here. We're not going to worry about that at the moment. We're going to try to put the lexicon together. I don't know if this is going to screw up our mythic path or not, but I want to try it. Uh, where is it? Xanther Vang's notes. That's not the right one. There we go. Lexicon paired off. Use. 
Let us join the two halves of the lexicon of paradox. Eltamar brings the two halves of the lexicon together, but nothing happens. No magic sparks, no extraordinary transformation. The lexicon of paradox remains uh, remains in two ripped halves. All that happens is the lines of text begin to move before his eyes. The letters of the two halves are striving to merge into words, but they cannot. Focus on the text. Eltamar's attention focuses on, on a couple of words that seem to have only just swapped places. The words freeze as though they never moved at all, but out of the corner of his eye, the commander sees several words on the other side of the page begin a discreet game of leapfrog. Try to compare the words of the two lexicon's two halves to grasp the hidden meaning. And here is all of the checks we need to do. We are going to need a 15, 14, 11, 17. <sighs> okay, we're going to set it aside for now. We're going to try and do one at a time. We're going to save scum the hell out of this. I'm just going to jump to when we can actually... We'll try the first one together, but... Um, oops. Can we not do it again once we set it aside for the first time? Really? It says that we can return. We can try again when the powers are more up to the task. Oh, we can do it like once a time or something like that? Okay, that's fine. We'll just uh, reload. To... Here. Is this the right one? It might be the one before this one. Okay. Failed. Let's try again. Loading. This one again. I'm just going to quick save at this one, I think. Well, let me just jump forward until we get to the first one, and then we'll do the second one, and we'll try and get them all done. I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, so we've successfully completed the whole lexicon. I'm going to go and read each one as we succeed on them, just so you can see what they do. But you have to do four different knowledge and lore checks, and then a perception check. So it took quite a while to get this done, so I'm going to read the perception one, and then we'll go through all the other four one by one. But I'm going to save after this, so I don't have to do it again, because it was painful. At long last, all the phrases form an integrated text. The commander's patience and effort have overcome the lexicon's defenses. The enemy has surrendered and revealed its precious secrets to the commander. The transformation process was initially conceived by me as a power source. However, in the course of my experiments, I learned that it partially solves the problem of a slow demise of the key. The power that manifests after transformation, I'm almost certain the mortals will devise some overblown name for it like mythic or legendary, serves as an effective shield against the poisonous influence of the wound. Problems arise when it's used. When the power is expended, for instance, in combat, the shield is weakened and the infiltrating emanations of the wound make or strike the key, wounding it and robbing it of its life force. This problem is immaterial in comparison to the second. The power increases after the transformation is or after transformation is not infinite, nor is it is its protective effect. I managed to save off the death of the key for several decades, but even despite achieving the extreme level of power bestowed by the transformation, at some point the key's protection will weaken, the world will prevail, and consume the soul of the key. I must admit that my research has come to a dead end. I have developed the power of the transformation process to its very limit, and I have failed to find a way to completely cure the wound's effects, except for extreme measures. At this the secret writings of Arilu Vorlesh come to an end. Whatever their significance, their contents will undoubtedly be of use to the commander in the future. As of reading the commander's thoughts, the lexicon separates into two halves one more, once more, and we gained 52,344 experience. Saving. Lexicon. Completed. Alright, 
Let's go see if we can just do the other checks really quickly. It wasn't all that hard. We actually have pretty decent rolls. I'm going to reload this quick save here. That was the wrong quick save. No, it wasn't. That's the right quick save. Never mind. Alright, let's go take a quick look at the book and see if we can't just do these checks. So that one failed. We'll uh, do this real fast. I hope this quick save, quick load won't load up the most recent hard save. Anyways, you know what I'll do? I'll just jump forward to when we do one of the checks. We'll read what it says and then we'll go from there. Back shortly. Alright, so this was the religious one. Uh, maintaining his concentration, Eltamar's eyes skim over the description of the mystical properties of the blood of demon lords. The now read phrases collapse into words and then into letters so that they can leave the fussing swarm and vanish from the lexicon's pages. This is the Knowledge World Check. The commander has in-depth knowledge of the territory of Old Star Chorus. This allows him to easily grasp the meaning of the Lexicon's text. The, world, uh, the words involved in the geographical description seem to lose interest and float away from the teeming swarm of phrases. And we failed the Denarial Jarkana check, so off we go back to the Quick Loader in the Sky. So we've gotten two of them down. Alright, this is the Knowledge uh, Arcana one. The commander easily parses the calculations laid out by the Architect of the World Wound. The formulae on the lexicon's pages dwindle and bleed away, separating from the flurry of phrases. And we failed the knowledge nature check, of course. I'll be back shortly with that one. Lore nature, I should say. Alrighty, this is the lore nature one. An uninformed reader might drown in the anatomical descriptions of the mythic creatures, but Eltamar easily isolates the relevant phrases from the hive of words, as if realizing that their efforts are now moot. The decrypted phrases decamp from the frenetic flock of letters. And that's it, we finally completed the Lexicon of Paradox. We're going to load up the completed one, obviously. And then we are going to go and give it to Sakabanoth. That was a painful, painful experience, but it is now done, and I'm happy-ish. I mean, I only wasted 34 minutes doing that. It's not like a chunk of my life just went <laughs> into this. Bright side. We did get them all, and we're very close to a level. We might even get a level when we go drop off the uh, lexicon for our mythic quest, which is in the middle city, I want to say. I wonder what the fastest way there is. Probably the harem, and then outside the harem from the main door, and then just up the ladder, I think, is probably going to be the best way for us. Um, and we'll go talk to Sakpanoth. Might have to go talk to the council, play some tricks on them. And then, uh, yeah. It's gonna be wonderful. We still have the, uh, Demodand quest to do, too. We have lots of things we can do for experience to get to level 17, I just realized. We got Grey Wars quest, we got our Mythic quest, we've got just so many things. We've read the Lexicon of Paradox, which is cool. I am very happy with the way this all turned. I guess we could have read it from here, honestly. When we did the whole thing. Yeah, we absolutely could have. Oh well. Anyways, let's go to the... 10,000 Delights and then out the main door, I guess? Go talk to Sokoban and give him this stupid lexicon that we're now... Completed reading, which is excellent. We got all the secrets we needed. Pretty happy about that. Got another Midnight Bolt. Also happy about that. So we just need, you know, a couple more of them. You know, I know that they're relatively safe. But every time I see a crane lifting a giant stone block, like 40, well not 40 stories, maybe like 20 stories. Okay, what floor am I? I'm on the 13th floor, so maybe... Yeah, like... 25, 30 stories up. Keep your calm. I just kind of worry what would happen if it dropped. I know... Statistically, that's very improbable, but... I can only imagine that that would ruin someone's day. I'm guessing there's no one below it. At least I'm hoping there's no one below it. And it would fall straight down. It's not like there's a lot of wind shear on... Um... A giant stone slab. So, you know probably relatively safe. 
Oh, what just happened? Come on. Great. Why, the Why is there so many random encounters in this stupid city? We got a fort save on a key shout. I don't even know if our main character is usable by us at the moment. I guess he is. One dead. Huh. Holy aura? Interesting. Just blast the shit out of this thing. Let's just not worry about this fight anymore. I just wanted to go meet Sakubanoth. That was terrible. Nenio is busy doing things. Overwhelming presence just went off. Main character's out. Well, let's kill the Uliudru. Did not kill the Uliudru. Okay, the Uli is dead now. Let's heal everyone. Wasn't really enough healing, but fine. We're still alive. Into the fray. 20's hit a Colossus, really? Bunch of damage on him, but he didn't die. I need to get closer to our main character. Do a heal. It actually needs to go off so he can not die. Negative four wisdom from the stupid Ooh, Coloxus Defiler. Do we just magic missile him? Sure, why not? Immune to magic missile. Fine, fair enough. He is slow. Um, okay, so you, like, you can barely hit this thing, so let's just do this, and then this, and then this. Only 15 to hit now. Well, it's getting closer at least. Still not quite dead. Now he's immune to magic missile, so let's remember that. Healing up our main character. She can do like a fire snake. How do we aim the fire snake? There we go. Still not dead. Thank you, Rushley, for waking it up. Yourself. And missing. Possibly staggered. And we missed. And he's not able to do anything. No there we go. Killed everything. We're gonna have to do some restorations. Fine, whatever. Now, where is that stupid place I wanted to go? These are guards, so they're not technically our enemies. Uh, where was this? Was it up here? Mm, maybe? This is where... Um, no, it wasn't. It was down here. And then... Uh, maybe yeah, it was up there. Sakamanoth, where did you go? I don't remember where you are. Maybe it was up there. Okay, let's try. Can't hurt. Let's athletics check up. My expertise prevail. Is he not here? It seems my expertise was not enough. Well, we're up here, but. Technically, we're not up here. So this was not the right way. This leads up to the upper city. Okay, we'll go back down. I honestly don't remember what rooftop this guy is on. I thought it was that one. But I'm clearly incorrect. Come on, hurry up. Cause this just led us up here for no stoop for no reason at all. Let's go back. That's a huge mobility check. We are definitely gonna fall and get pounded. 
Maybe not. Said we successfully did it. A 44 mobility check? What is Arushale's mobility skill at? I also need to give her back her visor. I took, I borrowed her perception thievery visor on our main character because there's a perception check at the end of the four knowledge checks. Knowledge and lore checks, I should say, in the lexicon of paradox. I got there once. I got, like, I mean, I did all four checks and then I got to the perception check and I was like, well, this sucks. So then I had to redo all the checks and give him the proper visor to make sure he could actually complete it successfully. I'm Down we go. Alright, let's go find Sokobanoth. He's got to be around somewhere. Let's take the portal down. Alright, let's stop here and we'll just take a look. He's on a rooftop. It's not that rooftop. We know that. It's definitely not this one. That's the gatehouse, so it's not there. That's got, like, weird things going on on it. It's not this one. It's here. This is the one. So the back of the flesh markets. We should have gone to the flesh markets. That would have been faster. My bad. We're so close to a level. To the flesh markets. I know it's a slavery thing, but Flesh Marcus has a cool name. I will say that the name is pretty cool. Alright, Sokobanoth, you're here. I'm gonna save. Just in case. So you've managed to sneak into a Relu's Chambers. I have the second part of the Lexicon of Paradox. You're the best. Now come on, let's go see what the Council makes of these writings. Yes, let's do that. I've already read them all, so I know what they are. Because I'm a genius, and I can reload infinite times until I get it right. Technically, if you fail, you have to wait till your next mythic level to try again, and I just did not want to do that. I am huge. Look at the size of my character. Absolute unit. If everyone could please be quiet. The lion-headed woman pauses solemnly, as if waiting for silence, even though the room is already quiet. The meeting of the council is now in session. Last time, we made some significant progress. Thanks to the valuable contributions of our newest member, we finally started work towards finding a solution to the world wound. There's also an interesting proposal that received unanimous support from the Council. We agreed to try to use the information from the Lexicon of Paradox to transform the world wound from a horrible well wound form a horrible well wound on the face of Galarian into something more useful, a crossroads of worlds, a place not of incursions and battle, but of meetings and peaceful negotiations. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Peaceful negotiations and nothing more, that's exactly right. Brrr. Unfortunately, the information contained in this document only referenced the possibility of a process that could close or expand the world wound, and not that the actual means by which it could be done. However, it is my understanding that the Council has acquired another part of this curious document, which could shed a little more light on the situation. Eretrice looks at you expectantly. I didn't just contribute, I did all the work, and the Council hasn't acquired anything, I was the one who found the lexicon. But of course, we did not intend to belittle your accomplishments. We're all grateful for your contribution to our cause. Prefer. You know, I think we deserved that reproach. We should give him more than a simple thank you. A round of applause for our hero. The council members reward you with a long, thunderous up round of applause. Here is the second part of the Lexicon of Paradox for you to read. The council members carefully examine the pages of the Lexicon, exchanging hushed remarks and taking notes. Finally, they return the Lexicon to you. I didn't understand any of it, but it's very interesting. There's at least one thing I was able to understand. A key is needed to create a rift, a creature whose mortal nature is merged with the essence of another plane. Arilu noted the essence of the abyss to open a portal to the abyss. I suppose that opening a passage to a different plane would likewise require the essence of that plane. It's also mentioned that the power of a Nahindrian crystal is required. You don't see one of those every day. A Nahindrian crystal or an essence taken from a sufficiently powerful creature from the right plane. So if you seek to create a connection with heaven, you need to find the essence of an imperial lord. For hell, you would need an archdevil, or at least a melabranche. And for the first world, you need an eldest. It's hard to say which of these would be most difficult to, ex to obtain. So we need a strong essence from another plane. Where can we get one? That is a difficult question. Each of us is formed from the essence of our own plane, but we cannot simply break off pieces of our souls. Fur. Cobblehoof holds up a talon claw. He snorts triumphantly, then rushes off in a flurry of feathers. It appears that our talkative friend has an idea. Or a sudden bout of diarrhea. 
No more jests, please. If Cobblehoof has a plan, I suggest we leave matters to him and reconvene the council upon his return. All those in favor? All those imposed? Passed unanimously. And who do you think should become the key? Why you, of course. Do you see any other candidates? An unpleasant discovery, isn't it? Here you are enjoying your life and then suddenly you find out that someone used you to open the world wound without even asking your permission. It is certainly a tragic situation, but it also gives you a certain sway over the wound. You already possess mythical powers, and I shudder to think what you'll become once you are not the only key to the abyss, but to all worlds. I certainly wouldn't want you to be my enemy, that's for sure. According to the lexicon, the world wound is slowly killing me. How are we going to address that problem? I believe that the energy from the good aligned planes will offset the harm that's being done to you by the energies of the abyss. Nonsense, the lexicon clearly states that the key will perish as a result of the wound. It never mentions planar energies. So yes, this is a problem. We have a thought, but we'll share it later. Possibly. In some of the future timelines. At worst, you'll die, but your great deed will not be forgotten. Your sacrifice will be praised by all creation from heaven to hell. Try to look at both parts of the lexicon together. Eretrice examines the pages. She holds them up, then at a distance, peering at them carefully from every angle. There's something hidden within these pages. It looks like some kind of magical cipher, but I can't read it. You try. The eldest looks at the pages intently, then scoffs. It's certainly intriguing, but it would lead to a rather dull version of the future. Certainly not the worst one, but utterly boring for us. We won't read this out for you, and we would prefer if you didn't read it either. As always, however, the choice is yours. Here, let me see. Elichino looks at the pages with a frown. He puts his glasses on, then takes them off, then pulls a magnifying glass out of his pocket, but to no avail. Finally, he gives you the pages back. Yes, there is indeed some hidden notes here, but to understand their meaning, we'll need a key to decipher them, which we clearly don't have. I see, this meeting is adjourned. Hold on, I'm the chairperson of this council, you can't just... Please stay in your seats. The meeting is not... Eritrus watches helplessly as the council members begin to leave, ignoring her protests. With a low growl of anger, she quickly calls out, This meeting is adjourned! The exact time of the next meeting will be announced in due course! I'm just like... Meeting's done. I need to concentrate. Alright, let's see if we can do some tricks. What expectations do you have for the crossroad of worlds that will create in the place of the world wound? A free space through which happy vibrations flow, permeating, or permeating the entirety of existence. Luck to each and every one, for free. It'll be the most amazing thing in Galarian. Knowledge is the so far we don't have anything to do victory. with tricking people. What expectations do you have? New opportunities, of course, and deals unlike anything anyone's ever dreamed will become possible. Many will become wealthy, many will rise, and I, for knowing all of this, will have an advantage over everyone. The devil waves his little black notebook like a full hand of trump cards. Never stop learning. Eretrice? What she got? On neutral territory, equally remote from all external planes, we'll finally be able to lay down our weapons, sit at the negotiating table, and hear one another out for the first time in the history of the multiverse. Just imagine, angels and devils, fey and aeons, in a battle of arguments, not weapons. This is our chance to arrive at a universal common truth. Yeah, that'll go real well. How about you? I haven't thought about it yet, and what does it matter? I'll find something to do. Things definitely won't be boring, I can assure you. And Shika. Nothing for Shika, apparently. Alright, back to Elushinera we go. We have to wait for the Griffin to come back, which I'm guessing is going to be Act 5, probably. But we did not get a level out of this, which is slightly irksome. Do we want to go grind out level 17 in the arena between videos? Let's take a look at how much experience that is first. Because if it's not too much, I might do that between videos, and then we can go do Grey Boar, the Demondan fights, and uh, Wolgif's fight. I keep saying, I keep wanting to say Land's fight, but we already did that one. Where are we at? So we need a hundred and, no, not even. We need 37,000, 33,000. Uh, closer to 32,000, so approximately between 16 and 40 fights. That's a lot of fights. Better idea. I finished here. We still have some time on this video. Let's go to the Battle Bliss, and we'll go do the first of the Ruin fights for the Dead Madan thing. That way. That's a bunch of experience in one go. Probably a good... Well, it depends how many enemies there are. I can't remember how many we fight. There's some Kaloxi and some... Demondens, I'm guessing. Maybe some Vrox. Possibly like a Vivakia or something. I honestly don't recall what we fight, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll throw down some Syracos. 
We'll get some haste. And we're good. That'll be fine. Can't be that hard, right? He said. Seriously underestimating it, probably. Oh, don't do that. Need to get through the gate first. Everyone's getting through. Nice. All right, here we go. Let's just throw down a couple circles. We'll put one. I don't know where everything spawns. You're too giant, and you're making it hard to target where I want to target. That isn't exactly where I wanted this to go. That should be good enough. All right. Alright, that should be good enough, I think. We'll get a Rushalay to start this out, and we'll move Darren back here. Actually, we'll just get him to heal. I'll move Ninio back here, and Ember back here. I kind of want you to be over here in like this corner area, I think. I don't know, something like that anyways. Saving. Drop that in there. And here we go. So there are enemies behind us. It is a... Whatever those things are called. Uh, Desna, guide my hand. The ones with the whips. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, we might be able to kill it before anything bad happens. Possibly. Anyways. Well, I knocked a few of them down. Dispel magic on target is annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. One of them died, and the slave is... I don't know, doing something. Let's move out of the... Oh, there's a... Oh, there's no one right there, but that's fine. It's already fallen down. Do we just kill something by accident? I would say that yes, we did. This is not as many enemies as I thought there was going to be. Maybe there's more that'll show up. Um, you don't really need to do anything right now. Terrible attack rules, fine. Uh, let's blast this one with like a hellfire array. That one's dead. There's the other round. So we got Coloxus. Up there. These are Kalavakai. Any of them get knocked over? Uh, not that one, unfortunately, but that's fine. Where'd that guy go? He's gone. Did he teleport or something? Did he despawn? Alright, well, everyone's kind of down on the ground, so... Just blast them all. Right, she needs Ascendant Element. God, I keep forgetting that. Killed some dudes. Let's move around a little. There's one here that's hurt, but not even close to death. Well, now it's dead. Okay, moving up. You can do the Stormbolt thing. Okay, that's good enough. I think that should be enough spells. That one's dead. That's almost dead. <laughs> and there's yet another slave. This one's a... Oh crap, there's a bunch of slaves. Okay. Killed a couple. There's still one behind us. Let's take a five foot step away. It's, uh. There's a Merilith back here. We need to heal Eltamar. But we can't because we'll take a Merilith hit to the face as we walk through and die. Maybe Ember can. Well, that one just evaporated. That's kind of nice. Ember, where are you comparatively? Can you five footstep to... This is actually more painful than I thought it would be. Okay, there we go. 
Can you find footsteps to there? And then, damn it! Fine, that's fine. I didn't want to heal anyways. What's left alive? That one's still alive. I thought for sure I was up there and I didn't see it alive. No, it's down again. Everyone stay out of the mind fog. Except for you. You go through the mind fog and kill this thing. Can't see it. There it is. Alright, fight complete. The first of the... Demodand Titan thingy fights. Somebody grab this loot. We have the Enchanted Ruin now. That gave us a good... Couple thousand experience, I guess. We need, what, 13,000 to le No, we need 3,000. 30,000. 28,000 to level. Shit, my math sucks. Um. Battle Bliss. Do you want to do another Demondan fight? We can do another Demondan fight. They're not that hard, kinda. Let's go back. We'll just, you know, heal. Do displace all the things. Get some more Sierra codes. It'll be fine. We're gonna go to the. Harem of 10,000 droid. 10,000 delights. Then we go outside and then around the corner? I think, yes. No, this is completely incorrect. We need to go to the Harem of Ardent Dreams. It's in the same area, luckily. It's over by the Asimar's house, I just remembered. And then we have one in the upper city, which is on top of a building. I don't think we've been up there yet to do the knowledge check. Pretty sure it's on the northern part of the city. That sounds right. And then we have to do one big Demondan fight inside of a building, which was relatively tough if I recall correctly. We can probably get it done in this video. Maybe. This is the wrong one. We need to go to this one. We'll do one more fight, call it a video, then we'll do the last two Demodan fights and possibly Greybor's fight in the next one. If we can get a level on this one, would be nice, but otherwise I'll level up between videos again. It seemed to work pretty effectively the last time, and I'll show you guys what we pick up. Let's roll. Everyone's here, good. This is the next one right here. Uh, we're gonna get a heal on our main character, because he's taking a beating. And then we're gonna do displacement. Keep your and mirror no, image. No reason to pause. I mean, you could literally maybe mount up on your horse for once. We should probably get not. Is our horse dead? Oh no, our horse just wasn't part of the team apparently. Get over here. Are you stuck? Oh my god. Get over here. Come on. Okay, anyways, let's start getting some Sierkos up while the horse gets here. One. Two. I don't know where anything spawns, so we're just gonna kind of spread these all out nice and easy. And maybe two, like, down here where we are. Okay, good enough. Let's keep Nenio. Back in the corner. You we will win this mount war. up on your horse. Can we auto cast that? No, I guess we can't. All right, everyone else gets back over here. So You're fine here with Sila. Eltamar has shrunk again. Let's get him an enlarged person. We don't need to do in a legendary proportions, but at the very least, we should make him bigger. Come on, come on. Hurry up. There we go. Alright, saving. Don't want to waste too many rounds. Alright. And here we go. There's something here. So we have a Babao near us. Or no, it's a Pain Aijai. That's fine. Move back over here and just shoot it in the face. One dead. There's a lot of Pain Aijai here, actually. And whatever you are, you a shadow stalker, shadow hunter? 
kind of looks like a shadow hunter. Do you like magic missiles? You're immune, so yes you do. Phantasmal web to be annoying. And we can't move. Can we dismount and move? Guess we'll find out. Yes, yes we can. So it's only our horse that can't move. Summon monster just went out. And... Uh, it is hard to hit, apparently. Get rid of the Soul Eater. Moving up towards this guy. Let's just start shooting all these little guys that we can get rid of. Make your peace. And then miss all of our attacks. Perfect. Exactly what I was hoping for. It's always the best way. Not being able to hit things. I think that's a touch ability. I think he has stagger. Can you move? You can. So, interesting. Uh, let's get this. On that guy, at least. Our poor horse just got a bunch of hits. That's fine. Do it! Yes, we got a hit. It was for... I don't know, some damage. Almost killed it. And round two has just kicked off. Which has become a new combat, apparently. Which is weird. And kind of horrible. Now there are several of these things around. Which means that he is now staggered, and that's very annoying. Yeah, that's some okay damage there. Go fight this one. None of them are going to get knocked over. Perfect. Prepare are we in a surprise round? We must be in a surprise round, because they don't have any turn that they can do any actions on. That's fine. That was a good-ish hit. Uh, can we charge one of them? We can charge that one. That puts us really far away from the next one, though. Could charge this one. And do very, very little damage. So, uh, yeah, we definitely want to have our Vado Strike going, otherwise we deal 40 damage instead of, like, 300. It's a bit of a difference there. They don't do a lot of damage, luckily. Do they do cold damage? What do they do for damage? Cold and negative. Weird. Okay, anyways. Um, I think I might be close enough to give him true sight, which should help out a little bit. Hit that one once. That one's coming through to fight someone. That concealment is very annoying. you come over here and just do like a fire snake all the way through? That did some pretty okay damage. Have to resort to brute force. No, what? Almost killed two. There's still this one up here, of course. Did you pull a raise? Shit. I should keep that in mind. Which one has Freebooter's Bane now? It was that one. Unfortunately, that means we missed horribly and then you can't do anything. Um, okay. I think we might have hit Sila a little bit there. Make your peace. Great. Good job missing every shot. That one's... Oh, more things spawned. Okay, what do we got? We got a Merolith, we got a Slave. A Succubus, I should say. A few of them got knocked down, but not the Merolith, who's coming in. Okay, we need to blast that one. Decent hits. 300 damage, didn't die. That one's now dead. Move away from it. That's a Rushalay, that's fine. 
Is originally on our side? Okay, yeah, I think we're okay. Still. Do we just... We could just do this. Didn't kill it. Of course, we could try destruction. I don't know if it's gonna work. It almost never does. We've had terrible luck with that. That was a lot of attacks that didn't work. Alright, I'm gonna move this way. And then shoot that one. Great, originally. That's a great place to start shooting. I know that there's a succubus there. We didn't have to attack that one. Let's heal... I think she might be on last stand. Let's just fire sneak through this middle. Because there's another slave right there. Do we want to go straight for this one? Yes. Yes, we do. We hit it. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. There's a... Let's kill the Succubus first. It did not die. These fights are long. It's a mass heal, everyone. We could use just a little bit of an oomph. Terrible roll. That one's dead. That was terrible. Alright, let's go see if we can kill it in one hit. Come on. Alright, another big fight. Down and out. Now we only need 19,000 experience to level. Fight complete. Don't forget to pick up your ruin if you haven't done that yet. And uh, we're free and clear. And that's going to be the end of our video. In the next video we'll do the last quest for this. Or the last big fight for this. And then also. There are many you know. The big, big fight, the boss fight for the Demondans, which has some good loot, I believe, if I recall correctly. For now, though, I will leave everyone here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.